I would like to describe WAGBIP as a venue where young African scientists come to develop their talent. My name is Richard McIntosh. I'm a former president of the American Society for Cell Biology and a member of the National Academy of Sciences, USA. It was my honor and pleasure to be part of a group of cell biologists who obtained funding around 2006 for short courses on the cell biology of African diseases. This money allowed us to come during 2008 to the Department of Biochemistry here in Legon, hosted by Jonathan Ajimani and Sami Saki. These insightful department chairs helped to start an immensely constructive partnership between scientists in Accra and cell biologists from Europe and the USA. When my old friend Dick McIntosh suggested in the early 2000s that we write a grant together um, for the human frontiers, then I incorporated into that grant a week-long course to be taught in Africa to African students on the new information emerging from genomes, bioinformatic interrogation and molecular cell biology of African parasites. I think that the main impetus for the center uh, came from some workshops that we used to do with the American Society for Cell Biology. Uh, these were workshops that uh, were for scientists in the West African region. And they were hosted by a number of institutions. They were hosted at the medical school in Kolebu, at KNUST. I think they even did um, one in um, Tanzania or so. Um, and then they came back. They did one here before, went and did some elsewhere. And then they came back to us. And it was around that time that I had come back to the department. And the head of the department at the time, who was uh, Prof. Saki, Prof. Sami Saki, asked me to be responsible for these workshops, to be sort of the coordinator for these workshops. We moved in here, and about that same time was when we had our younger uh, people, including Prof. Gordon Awandare, Prof. Lydia Mosi, and so on, um, return. They, of course, were trained um, in the 1990s and the 2000s. So they had gone, some of them did masters here, and then they had gone and um, been back. And they came back with a zeal, with a passion for change, because when they, they were here, nothing was happening. And we, of course, had lived in it. So when you are in something, you don't feel it. But they came back with that zeal, wanted change. First, let me give credit to the university leadership at the time. Because like you mentioned, uh, often university leaderships are not very progressive and open to new ideas, let's say radical ways of doing things that we were trying to do. Uh, but the vice chancellor at the time, uh, Professor Ernest Aite, uh, was basically thinking in the same way as we were thinking. He was um, determined to turn the university into a research-intensive university. What BIP came up while I was vice chancellor, it first came to my attention when uh, Professor Gordon Wandari approached me about the possibility of creating such a center. Um, at the time, he was looking for a grant from the World Bank for the uh, under the African Centers of Excellence Initiative, and then later on another grant from the uh, Wellcome Trust under the Deltas Initiative. So these were the two things that he was working on, which he came to discuss with me, and I thought they were very important for the university. I was struck by the fact that uh, most of the people involved with him, he himself was a very young researcher, uh, most of the people involved with him were equally young. And I was looking for young people at the university to drive 
change. The idea about WACBIB really was a call from the World Bank trying to help uh, higher institutions to set up the thing. When I looked at the setup and how they had set the thing up and what they wanted to do, it didn't suit Noguchi that very well. This was highly focused on student, in fact, putting out student numbers. The research and the call really was sort of an added on. I wrote a grant application designed to obtain more funds to run more of these workshops. Uh, my application was not successful. But Gordon, whose vision is much broader than mine, <clears throat> was able to take some of the ideas that we had put into that application and expand them tremendously and significantly into an application that ultimately was submitted to the World Bank and many of you know was successful. Basically, WACBIP um, came out of um, the energy of many young people in the department at the time. I was part of the um, group that actually put the proposal together. So um, I joined the Department of Biochemistry, Cell and Molecular Biology in 2012. Um, and that, when I joined, I had freshly finished my PhD. And I came here, when we started, um, there wasn't much happening in terms of research. So I think for most of us that um, started this, we were young and vibrant um, faculty, new faculty that have come from abroad. One thing, or the West Africa Center for Cell Biology of Infectious Pathogens was among the first ACES, or Africa Centers of Excellence, that were selected for Ghana. 